Let's talk a little bit about the weather right now. And uh, Kelly, cold on the coast and here? Yeah, we are seeing some temperatures uh, mainly around Portland, still in the 40s, a little warmer even out towards the central coast where we are seeing temperatures already in the 60s. So a bit of a range of temperatures, but plenty of sunshine here across the board, as you can see. A little hazy with some mid-level clouds out towards the Dalles, but still a nice afternoon. Lincoln City under pure sunshine, looking gorgeous towards the coast. Same for Meadows there, Mount Hood, just a beautiful view uh, from our cameras up at 5,000 feet. Portland now back in the sun. We did see some of those foggier areas and low clouds socking in the morning, but we have cleared those out and we're now looking at mainly sunny skies here. 48 degrees in Portland. We've been slow to warm due to that uh, low cloud cover here and that fog, but we'll likely see highs back in the low 60s today. Already getting the 50s, even low 60s towards the central coast at this point. So here's our day planner as we head our way into the afternoon. Again, that beautiful view of Lincoln City. We'll keep it sunny today. Highs around 62 in Portland low to mid 60s around the valley. Salem, Eugene may hit the mid 60s today. We see a clear evening ahead, likely another foggy start by the time we hit tomorrow morning. Also on Halloween, we do have a rare full moon. It's the second of the month, which makes it a blue moon. It's also the blue hunter's moon. We get to a full moon on Halloween about every 19 or so years, but having it be a blue moon again, the second one of the month is fairly rare. The last time we saw that was back in 1944, so we'll see some great views extra spooky with it being that blue moon we'll see mainly clear skies going into our halloween evening so high pressure over our region now that is keeping much of the weather up to the north up in British Columbia. Same for portions of northern Washington. We are seeing lovely skies outside right now. High pressure sits as we head our way into tomorrow by Friday. Bit of a dip here in our storm track, so that will allow a system to roll in and a cold front to bring us a chance for some light showers on Friday. We'll track that into the afternoon. Otherwise dry tomorrow. It's likely we'll finish out October here with below normal rainfall at about half the amount we typically get in an October. October, so pretty dry month as we head into our start of November here uh, through Sunday into Monday. We are expecting some sunny conditions as high pressure rebuilds once again. So here's our future cast heading into our morning tomorrow. We'll likely see that same low cloud cover and that fog developing here across Portland and in the valley socking in the morning time. Pretty gray start tomorrow, but we're back to sunshine by the afternoon on Friday here. That's when that system rolls in. Notice this cold front swinging on in and bringing us a chance for some light scattered showers. This this model makes it look like a lot of rain is headed in, but really expecting only a few hundredths of an inch of rain and that system works out the door quickly. We are drying out as we head our way into Saturday and Halloween evening. So there's your view of Mount Hood again looking gorgeous. We're expecting low 60s today with plenty of sunshine around the valley and out towards the coast. Here's your seven day forecast. A few showers to watch on Friday, but then we're back to sunshine heading into the weekend. Also, Sunday's the end of daylight saving time. Don't forget to set your clocks back one hour. That's your weather forecast. We'll be right back.